Welcome back to my next playthrough series. This time I'm going to be doing a three-player game of Arctic Scavengers. Uh, yes, I have the base game and the HQ and the recon pack, uh, but I am just going to go through a base game, uh, which should cover off pretty much the basic rules. The other cards add a few extra mechanics uh, that I probably will mess up if I try to uh, infuse too much stuff into it. The only thing I will say that I did do is on the contested resource stack, one of the options is to take one of each of the seven different cards from both uh, the recon expansion and the base game and mix them together. So all 14 that are in the contested resources uh, are all different. And so that will have, a, of course, a little bit different uh, play on the game. So the anatomy of the game here, it's a deck builder game. Uh, everyone starts off with a deck of 10 cards. Uh, and I'll show you the game setup card here in a second. And we have Thug Scavengers, Group Leaders, Saboteur, Brawler, Hunter, Scout, Sniper Team. Uh, and we'll go over uh, each one of those sort of individually. Uh, and I guess so to start off quickly, we will uh, we'll show you the game setup. And for a basic game, each player receives, you get four refugees, three scavengers, one brawler, one shovel, one spear. And then it just tells you what to do with the remaining cards. The refugees get uh, discarded back to the box. Scavengers and brawlers are placed on the play surface, which we've seen out there. The other mercenary cards, shovels and spears, go to the junkyard. Uh, and the junkyard are all cards with the bolt symbol. And you shuffle them and place them face down on the mat. And the junkyard deck is this one right here. It's about 40 cards, I think, in a three-player game. Somewhere in there, anyway. Uh, and then the contested resource stack, which I briefly talked about, uh, cards with a fist symbol, and you shuffle them, put them face down on the contested resource mat. And the initiator is randomly selected, uh, the start player, this is the first person to receive the initiator card. And what is the initiator card? It is this one, which basically tells you what to do in the game. Um, the drawing phase, everyone draws five cards. Uh, starting with the third round, the initiator peeks at the top card of the contested resource deck. Uh, and sees what it is. Then there's a resource gathering phase, and I'll briefly go through that as we look at uh, some of the cards. And then there's the skirmish phase, which begins at round three and later, which means some of the cards you buy will eventually be in your hand. Of course, they won't be in the first two rounds because you only end up with uh, five cards each in a hand. Whew, all right. That was kind of going over things very quickly. Uh, and so, let me just zoom down a little bit here and we will go through those basic cards uh, in our hand. The four refugees, three scavengers, one brawler, one shovel, one spear. All right, so I've taken one of the three decks. This will be the deck that I'm playing with. And so what I'm gonna say for this playthrough, uh, we will be playing as if I am the one uh, player, the other two are gonna be blind. So we're not gonna be seeing, you know, until they play the cards, what's coming up, what they find in the junk pile if they search. Uh, what they get for contested resources. <clears throat> we won't know this until a later time. But for right now, let's take a look at the basic cards we get. Explain a little bit how it works. So this is a refugee uh, depicted by a, a little person icon. They don't cost any food to recruit. Well, we can't recruit them in this game anyway because they're not available. They have a little shovel symbol here and they have a little uh, chicken leg and, and knife food symbol. And they are one tribe member, so they're a lonely refugee. And this, at the end of the game, whoever has the most points here for tribe members will win. So that's basically how that works. I'll explain this once we get to the scavenger, which is right here. He has, he's a sort of jack of all trades, master of none. He, he costs one food resource to get. Uh, and so there are basically one, two, three, four different actions you can take uh, on your turn. One of them is drawing a card or cards. If you play multiple cards, they stack together. So if I pay th three sa uh, scavengers, I can play them all at one time, draw three cards. You can only do one, uh, you can only do the action once on your turn. So you can't draw a card and then play another scavenger, draw another card. You can only do the action once. So this is searching in the junkyard and it's the little shovel symbol. And so this would be one search. If I had two scavengers, I could search twice. And how searching works is you take uh, the number of shovel symbols that you have and you draw that many cards. You get to keep one card and stick one card back on the bottom of the junkyard deck. Uh, there's the food symbol that is used uh, to recruit. So you can see here scavengers cost one food to recruit. So if I play a scavenger, I can recruit a scavenger because I actually have the resource. Uh, and the fighting number here, the crossed swords or crossed knives at the bottom, 
is your attack value. And that comes into play when we have skirmishes over the contested resources. And again, one uh, tribe member for point scoring. So clear as mud. Uh, and now next we have uh, a brawler and he costs two food to recruit. Uh, basically, he can dig into the junk pile and he has a two for fight. So he's, uh, he's kind of a tough guy, uh, but he is a tough guy. All right. And next we have some tools and tools are depicted by the little crossed hammer uh, knife symbol uh, and it's a shovel. So this is going to give uh, one person with a little uh, mask symbol up here a plus two for uh, digging if they have the base ability. And if you look here, scavenger has the base ability, the brawler has the base ability, and so does a refugee. So any of them can use the shovel and you can only use one uh, tool per uh, person. And the shovel is also worth one in a, uh, in a fight, in a skirmish. And of course there's no uh, people value on it because it's a shovel. Next we have the spear. It's also a tool. Uh, it will give you plus one food and yeah, I don't think I'd be eating this guy, but anyway, plus one food, plus two in a skirmish. And I think that's it. So that covers the basic cards in your deck. All right, I'm going to put down the uh, standard rules uh, after. Okay, let's take a look at, sorry, the special cards uh, that are, that we can buy, the, the eight cards out here. So basically we have group leaders and they are people, uh, but they cannot attach tools to themselves uh, because you see the green number here means this must be attached to a person. Uh, and it costs two meds and two um, food to recruit. They're worth two uh, people. And it says any action may be enhanced by both group leaders and a tool. So you can put group leaders and a tool onto another person to pump up their value. And you can see two, 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 and two. Very good uh, card for doing that. Next we have a saboteur. It's a person, costs a med and a food to recruit. He can dig, uh, he can fight, but his special ability is disarm one tool card forcing it to be discarded. And this can be done on the gathering resources phase or during a skirmish. You cannot do both though. He cannot fight and use a special text. He has to use special text, then the card's discarded, or you can just use him for fight and not use the special text. Next we have the sniper team. One of the favorite ones, uh, very expensive, uh, two meds, two food. Uh, you cannot attach anything to them because you can see they have no base abilities for anything. They're worth two tribe members because they're, you know, binocular guy and sniper guy. Uh, and it says snipe one tribe member, forcing it to be discarded. And when you use your sniper team, you discard it and you discard the person that you sniped as well. Next, we have the scout one med, two foods. Uh, you, it's a draw two cards ability or a two fight. Uh, pretty basic uh, standard card. Next, we have the hunter one med uh, and he has two food for hunting and plus one fight. And... Uh, well, the brawler we've already looked at in the basic cards, you get one. And lastly, we have thugs. And this is a combination of anything six. So you have six meds, you can get them, six food, you can get them, or any combination, three, three, two, four, whatever you want. They can dig and they're good at fighting. And there's also three of them. So a pretty powerful card when it comes to skirmishes. And that is the basic cards. So up last, I'm gonna just throw down the standard rule mat that comes with the game, uh, go through it. Uh, fairly quickly because I think we've already covered things and then next episode of course we're going to get right into it so there'll be us someone else and someone else all right let's take a look at the standard rules uh, card that comes with the game so here we have the standard rules card and this is a, a quite a quite a thick uh, plaque of a card uh, and it basically key concepts no skirmish till round three well that was uh, indicated on the initiator card multiple actions may be taken per round multiple cards used in a single action increase the potency of the action i think i kind of explained all that a player might only perform a given action dig hunt draw hire etc once per round and the main actions i kind of went over drawing digging hunting fighting free actions you can hire uh, which is select a mercenary from the table or from you know the group of cards you can buy paying its cost uh, using combination of food and meds and trash one thing I forgot to mention, select one or more cards from your hand and shuffle them into the junkyard. Uh, any card type, including tribe members, can be trashed with this action. Do not replenish your hand afterwards. So you can um, exile refugees to the junk pile if you want to get rid of them, or maybe some surplus shovels or something if you've collected a bunch of them. Uh, special actions. 
Both disarm and snipe can be used during resource gathering and skirmish phases. Disarm, force an opponent to discard one tool, and snipe, force an opponent to discard one tribe member. All right, going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to wrap up, and next time we're going to just get right into the gameplay, and you'll see how the rules happen uh, as they unfold. All right, so I was just going to wrap up a little bit. We have to uh, decide who's going to go first, so I'm going to take the rightmost deck, and of course I have a couple of adversaries this time. Uh, this deck and this deck, and these two decks will be played by uh, plastic stand-in figures, and the first one is going to be a Klingon, and it is Krag. I guess that's his name, I don't know, maybe it says on the bottom. He is going to be uh, here, and uh, of course coming from Roar Pente, he's very familiar with Arctic Wasteland, so he's going to be a tough competitor. And of course, over here we have another competitor, and it's going to be Roar, the Owlbear, um, you know, because reasons, Owlbears, tabletop games, you know, they, they go together, don't they? So anyway, next time, uh, we're going to get right into the gameplay. We're going to have me, the Klingon, Craig, and an Owlbear. But we're just going to roll a die, and we're going to see who goes first. So, uh, this is us. We roll a three. Craig rolls a three. And the owl bear rolls... Is that a six? That's a six. It's the table uh, from Tabletop Dice. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is, uh, of course, you know, being the most ferocious one of the bunch... Uh, well, the Klingon would not agree. It's good. He's going to take the initiator card. So he's going to be the initiator. Uh, and what that means is he's going to hang on to the initiator card for the first two rounds. And then on the third round, after we do our stuff, he is going to be uh, going first. So basically he's first player. I'm going to go in clockwise. So he's going to go first, then me, and then uh, Craig. Uh, and we're going to do that twice. And then on the third turn, we're going to start having skirmishes. And we'll see how that works. Uh, possibly in the first episode. We'll see how quickly this goes. Uh, so here we go. There's our competition uh, for me. And uh, yeah, Owl Bear is going to be first player. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Join me next time for the uh, Arctic Scavengers deck building game. Uh, it's going to be some tough competition for me, Owl Bear and a Klingon, but uh, I think I can take them. So uh, join me next time. And thanks for watching. Aww.